In this video, we're going to talk about how to cancel an accountant's change file. This is for those rare situations where you previously sent a copy of your file to your accountant for them to work on, but for whatever reason, you do not need that file back from them with all the changes. So maybe, for example, you've worked on your file and you've made changes on your end and the accountant's not had a chance for them to work on the file just yet. Maybe the file you sent previously has expired and your accountant has requested a new one. Or maybe the transfer password that you set up when you've sent your file has been lost and uh, no one can really work on the file. Before we begin, I want to caution you. Once you do this, it cannot be undone. In other words, if your accountant has made extensive changes to the file, maybe they only made a few changes to the file. Regardless, whether they're working on your monthly bookkeeping, your quarterly bookkeeping, or your annual tax return and making adjustments, once you go through this process, it can't be undone, and all those changes are going to be lost, which means if it has to be redone, that's probably going to be a cost to you. What that means is, is before you go through this, make sure this is something that your accountant wants you to do before you actually cancel it. So um, let's talk about the steps. Before we get into it, your file might look slightly different. This is being recorded using QuickBooks 2020 Desktop Pro, um, but the steps should be very similar for most people. So to cancel the process, you cancel the accountant's change file, you're gonna go to File. You're gonna go down here to Send Company File accountant's copy and over here this is where you would send the file and as you notice it's been grayed out because the file has already been sent which the only options left are to basically import the changes from the web or from a file or to remove restrictions removing restrictions means it cancels it it undoes that file and again once we go through this the changes cannot be sent in so we're going to go ahead and click on this because we've reached out to our accountant they said yes I need a new file, so we're going to click on Remove Restrictions. It's going to give you a warning. Doing this will remove the restrictions on your file previously sent that based on the date that was provided. Um, and it says if your accountant sends you a file of changes, you will not be able to import the changes into QuickBooks. So in other words, it's giving you the warning. So you're going to click on the Yes, I want to remove the accountant's restrictions, assuming that's what you want to do. I'm going to click OK. After you check that box that says yes, you want to confirm you want to remove the restrictions, there's really no pop-up message afterwards that shows that it's been done. So how you can know that the change has actually occurred is you go up to the file menu, you go to send company file, accountant's copy, so we're going through all those steps we just went through, and as you can see you can now send your file to your accountant, but these options for importing changes and removing restrictions are now gone. So there you have it. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. Send